the eraser of legends, the kryptonite to Superman, the underdog that slayed the gods. The story of Zeka continues to unfold. The arrival of Zeka was not the stuff of legends. He wasn't the next Chovy, Knight, or Faker, but he certainly had potential. His impressive mechanical skill made him an immediate stand. Not able to get any of that really going for him, and Bubi was already behind the blue buff. They got to flash in, flash forward, trying to find something here. But PP God is there to deflect. Sure. Zika with the auto attack gets himself the kill. Has actually feeling like he take on Tars out there. The ultimate. They're going to use a the showstopper from the AD carry. They're going to pick up all the kills on Rare Adam. And what was an extremely dubious start of the fight is actually a genius play from BLG. But his deficiencies as a mid laner were in plain sight. Zeka's lack of champion pool and over reliance on assassins, a champion category that rarely found its way into pro play, made him extremely limited. His consistency left him in limbo, too good to drop, but not truly great either. That is, until he found a new home. DRX, the Band of Brothers. The castaways, the ones left behind, all looking to rewrite the narrative, none more so than Zeka. And Zeka and DRX lived up to expectations, or lack thereof. Moments of brilliance were capsized by moments of randomness, uncertainty, and mediocrity. For Zeka, much of his time was spent in the middle of the pack. He was clearly still talented but too inconsistent and limited in champion pool to crack the top four gods of the mid lane in the LCK. And a horrible playoff series against the next young upstart and closer had Zeka's middling spot teetering. But Zeka redeemed himself. Guess what? The main characters weren't even in this fight yet for DRX as wild growth on this Benicali. Zeka is just hunting me. Do as he hit six? Oh, okay, they're gonna get a two dump, trying to deny it, and now Croco on the run, assault and battery is still here for Zeka as he's taking this 1v1. Croco doesn't have flash, he can't get away. The Q is used to get back into the fight, and down goes Dunn. He is now depth in the pit, he's being burst down, but he's also getting a ton of damage. It's King in, it's a three man counter strike in the pit, and he's not done yet. Zeka goes. And DRX, they are going to worlds. Despite the roller coaster of emotions, underdog expectations, and rough journey ahead, Zeka was at worlds. To ascend to the mountaintop, one must first face its guardian, the King of Spring, Xiao Hu. Xiao Hu had gained an impressive reputation on the international stage at this point, delivering the LPL three MSI trophies. Down towards their side lane. And I saw death here because like, you got the buffer on the Tristan W into the Alistar. Like it's quite easy to play into it and keep yourself disengaged and self heal them. But the lion was quickly tamed. Xiao Hu's gonna be able to get away to safety. And Pioshik the Bramble Smash was beautiful. The tree does it and RNG are getting done. The following group stage was no different. Zeka's stats during this portion of the competition made him a clear standout. But the real test was yet to come. Zeka would have to hold up his end of the bargain against one of the greatest mid laners and organizations of all time, Scout and the reigning world champions, EDG. Scout's resume was so good that the only mid laner you could definitively say had a better career than him was Faker himself. And Seca said, damn your resume. Not allow it going with the 
Quadra kill in his first thousand. DRX found themselves the underdogs again. Genji. The best Korea had to offer, routinely ousting Zeka and DRX domestically. And the mid laner, Chovy, was arguably the best mid laner and player in the world. How could you possibly expect Zeka to overcome that? Well, he did. Now reaching the pinnacle of the mountaintop, standing across from him was none other than the final boss. The shadow that casts over every mid laner to ever play this game, Faker. And in this series, yet again as the unquestioned underdog, Sekka cast a shadow great enough to even black out a Demon King. Shut down back over to Sekka, oh, it's his target, E2 strikes true, and owner is trapped. Or is he? Now he's finally gonna be killed. Faker goes over the wall. Seus tries to fight, but the damage pours in. Zekka grabs A. She's gonna be targeted. He tries to get away, but he's gonna die out first. Zekka's trying to get away. They're finding more damage. His owner's about to fall out of the ocean now. Ready. Faker dies. Zekka goes in. And Karia will die. The jungler in the pit. They are not gonna commit to the Baron. They are looking for some sort of a play. Barrel is burning, but they're ready. They're turning. The ocean has Faker. Can't do it in time. King comes back. Elder Drake in the ready. But what can he do? Q3. No damage just yet. Elder Drake, the executor, failed. He's down. The greatest mid laner in the world at that moment was not Baker, not Chovy, not Scout, not Knight, not anyone else. The man that reached absolute perfection was Zekka. But was this the new Zekka, or a stroke of genius never to be repeated again? How likely is it that Zeka regresses? Uh, I don't think anyone like, could keep that level up. Come on. So more likely than not, this is this was this world's meta was hugely beneficial to him and his champion pool. Like especially because the mid lane probably had the least diversity in terms of picks out of any of. Coming the off the impressive guys. world's run, eyes were firmly placed on Zeka and HLE, but HLE's season left a lot to be desired. The team fared well against weaker competition, but routinely failed to close games against the league's best. The summer split saw a resurgence, with Zeka showing a level of consistency in the LCK he hadn't shown before. He took home the player of the split title, but that consistency quickly vanished in two straight, demoralizing defeats in the playoffs. HLE already had their foundation, a generational AD carry in Viper but they needed their mid laner to step up if they wanted to compete for the title. Zeka did it before, but could he do it again? Following the spring playoffs, that question was riddled with doubt. With renewed energy, Zeka returned with a vengeance. HLE was definitively the second best team during the split, with Zeka placing on the all pro second team. But more importantly, his individual prowess and champion pool greatly improved. It was a new Zeka. He wasn't peaking like he was during Worlds, he was evolving. As meanwhile, in the mid lane, Zeka trying to trade here against Closer, and one auto will do it. Zeka. Yeah, this is a 4v2, and there's no cleanse, no flash for Hannah. Delight goes in. It's just the easiest gank of all time. Delight is over committing to this, just saying, okay, I'm not going to get out, but I don't really care because we're going to take the win anyway. Peanut very lost to KT, but even Gen.G lost to KT. But standing in his way was another Goliath League MVP, Chovy. MSI champion, Chovy. The Chovy that no one could hang with and neither could say. One last hook from Lahez on the Viper, just to really send the message and send him home. And slated to face T1, doubt crept up amongst many. A repeat of the previous split, 
not this time. Real flash on top of Faker here, and that is going to be Faker in a ton of trouble. Owner does make his way over. Sure they want to continue on this one, but the smolder is online. The executions are beginning as Humble AB Sports. And can they actually do it? I, I don't really believe just yet, but now trying to bait the fight. Here comes Camille. That's a miss on the hook shot. Turns out for them. Peanut is in the pit. The solar player doesn't hit anything, and it Boom! goes to Peanut! Once again, standing on the grandest stage of the underdog, Zeka became legendary. Now no longer a one-hit wonder, better than before, painting over the golden road. The ultimate underdog, Zeka, ascending. their ultimates a lot going into the light who really isn't the press of Oh okay Zeka looks for the oh. and he finds the soul. And now Zeka is the champion once more, playing better than he ever has before, awaiting another chance at the world's trophy. Now is the time for Zeka to shed the title of Undog. Because no one will ever cast a shadow over him. And they get to work on the next